Hi, this is Barbara. We're going to look at how to get into the Illuminate room for our webinars on Saturday. Um, the easiest way to remember where to go is to go to our wiki and the syllabus for each week will have a link down at the bottom to the webinar room. Okay, so I'm going to do this as if I have never been there before. So you can see exactly what it'll look like. All right, I click on the link to the Illuminate room, and it takes me to the Learning Time sign-in page. Now, once you have an account, you'll just fill this out like you'd sign on any place else. But let's say I don't have an account. So I go up here and I click Join, and it'll take me to creating a new account. So I'm going to use um, a different email address than I already have, since I already do have an account. So I'll set up a new account here. So I'm going to just put in my name and use this address and my time zone, which is plus nine way over here in Japan. And my username, I will use Barb. And my password. This is just a fake account, so it's not a real password. And okay, so then um, my organization, I'll just put Teaching Village, which is my blog name. And if you have um, low vision or other reasons that you'd want to have assistive technology, assistive technology, then you click this. And I don't want update. I don't need to send a message. I want to show my first name, my last name, and my email address. Click Agree to Terms of Service, and then Join. And the name already exists. So let's do um, we'll just do Saka Barb, which is the reverse of what I usually use. Okay, and everything else is the same. Let's try that one. Alrighty, I'm a member. So, I want to enter the community. Okay. Now, every other time that I go back, after I've done that, I will just click Enter Now. And then I'm on Chrome, so this is the way it looks on Chrome but I'll get a file, a launcher. And each time I go in, it's going to give me something like this. Click it. It might look different on your server, but basically you'll get a, a piece, a launcher that'll set up the online room and you'll have to download it and open it. And then just wait. And sometimes it's a bit of a wait. So be patient. Okay, you get a window that shows that it's loading. And I'm not going to pause or edit this so you can see how long it takes to set up. So you don't think that you're doing anything wrong if it doesn't happen right away. Okay, and I'm in. And I'm the only one in here right now because, well, it's not time for a webinar. Okay, so there I am, Saka Barb. And this is my username. This is my microphone, my webcam. I think this is the com the chat and application sharing. So that most of these you won't have to worry about. 
but each time you go in, you probably want to test your microphone. And if you're not going to speak, if you want to speak, you want to adjust your microphone, but you can just do the audio setup wizard. And you can select your audio device. And then if you speak, you can test your speaker. You know, you can Welcome to the Illuminate Live audio setup wizard. This wizard will help you louder. set the optimum levels for both your microphone and speaker. Please follow the instructions carefully. At this you time, have to level your move light. the speaker slider to the right to increase the volume, or to the left to decrease. Okay, and I'm fine with that. And then if it if it sounded okay to me, then I click OK. And if I uh, want to speak, I can also test out my microphone. So I'll have the microphone the same thing. And in this case, I'm going to record. So. Also, it's really good if you have a headset for this. You don't get as much echo. So if you have a headset, you should use it. So if you um, are using your microphone for just you, then you click Single Talker and Record. And this is Barbara testing the level for my microphone for Illuminate. Stop. Right. And this is Barbara testing the level for my microphone for Illuminate. And then it sounded okay, maybe a little bit loud. And if I wanted to, if it's too loud, I can go back and change it here. But I'm going to say yes for now. And the setup is complete. So that means that when I'm in the webinar, I'll be able to listen and I'll be able to talk. And that's pretty much all you need to know how to do. Everything else we can explain when you're in there. But each time you come in, you should uh, test your audio to make sure that you can speak and you can hear. And I look forward to seeing you at our next webinar. Hope this helps. Bye.